As many of you already know, Midjourney is a great platform that allows you to create custom images generated by AI from simple text prompts. Millions of people around the world are using this tool to create amazing images for their social media profiles, websites, and even for their businesses. But did you know that Midjourney has an amazing feature that allows you to create a custom avatar based on a reference image? That's right. With this feature, you can easily create an avatar that looks just like you or anyone you want. If you're new to Midjourney and want to see what the interface looks like, follow along with me until the end of the video. But if you already have some know-how, feel free to jump ahead to any timestamp that suits you best. So, let's get started. But since Midjourney runs on a Discord server before you get started, you need to join the Midjourney Discord server. You can do this by going to midjourney.com and clicking on the Join the Beta button. But before you join the server, you need to have a Discord account and log in. If you don't have a Discord account yet, you can create one for free at Discord.com, or you can follow the link in the description below. This is the web interface of Discord, but since Discord is also available for PC users, I'm going to download it and run it through the Window app. After you joined in Discord, you have to join the official Midjourney server on Discord. You can find it by searching for it in the Public Server Explorer. Then you have to click it and join the server to have full access to its features. Once you join the Midjourney server, you will see a list of channels on the left sidebar. To start using the Midjourney, you need to go to one of the newbie channels. These are channels where you can experiment with your ideas without any restrictions or limitations. To create an image with Midjourney, you need to use the slash imagine command. This command takes a short text description of what you want to create and generates four options for you. For example, if I type or imagine the prompt a cute cat wearing glasses, you will get something like this. As you can see, each option is denoted by a letter, U1 up to U4 and V1 up to V4. These are buttons that let you upscale an image or create variations of it. Upscaling an image makes it larger and adds more details. Creating variations makes slight changes to the image while keeping its overall style and composition. Keep in mind that U stands for to upscaling the image and V stands for making variations for the result. For example, if I click on U4, I will get something like this. And if I click on V4, I will get something like this. Now let's see how you can make your own avatar using a reference image. For this time, you don't have to mess with the Midjourney server crowd. So I'm going to show you how to create your own server and add the Midjourney bot to it. To do this, click on the plus button on the left hand side of the screen. Here I'm going to add a server and go create my own. Then for me and my friends. Give it a name, let's say AI Explorers. Now you've just created your own Discord server. Now to add the Midjourney Discord bot to your server, go back to the Midjourney server and find one of the newbie channels. Click on the green Midjourney bot. Then click the Add to Server button and select the server name you created earlier. Click Continue and Authorize I'm Not a Robot checkbox. Now that we are on a new Discord server that is completely out of crowd, let's upload an image by double-clicking the plus icon and choosing your image from your local drive. Then copy the image address and add it to the prompt. After you copy the image link, type whatever you want your avatar to look like. Let's type Lady Anime Warrior. Just wait for it to be rendered. To have a better result, make sure that you are working on version 4. If you are not on version 4, you can change it by going into your settings and clicking the version you like. Version 5 offers advanced features and it is exclusive to Plus users. But version 4 is still highly equipped with all the necessary features for creating compelling content. Now you can successfully create an avatar based on a reference image in Midjourney. You can now experiment with different scenes and styles for your avatar and share your creations with others. If you don't like how it was rendered, Upscale the image and make a variation to it. The picture you used will change, but it will retain the pose you used before. If you still don't like the result, you can modify the appearance by clicking the Recycle or Variation buttons. You can have even more fun by changing your text prompts to an avatar of any film character or fun cartoon you want to use. Simply check it out. That is it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.